To install VMware Player, open up a web browser and then browse to www.vmware.com slash products slash player. And then select the download button. Once there, you'll see a display of multiple different download options. And if we expand the details on the first one, you can see that the first option is actually the one for Windows 32-bit and 64-bit hosts. So select Download and then select Run. Once that's started, go ahead and select Next. Next again, then check for product updates, help improve VM player, and then select the desktop icons that you want and click Continue. Once the installation is completed, click Finish. and then double-click the VMware Player icon to open up the application. As you can see, the user interface for VMware is very similar to what we saw with VirtualBox. However, unlike VirtualBox, with VMware Player, you have to open a separate instance of VMware Player for each virtual machine that you want to run. To start a new virtual machine in VMware Player, select Player, then File, then New Virtual Machine. And as you can see, you can install your virtual machine from either your host optical drive or from an ISO image file. We'll go ahead and select the ISO option and then select Browse. Then browse to the directory that you have your image file saved in and we'll go ahead and select our Windows 7 image file here and then select Next. And one of the advantages of VMware is easy install. It actually allows you to enter the product key for any Windows software here and also enter the username and password that you want to use. In this case, we'll go ahead and bypass that option. And then you can enter the virtual machine name here and the location where you want the files for the virtual machine stored, then next. Then you can choose the size of your disk and also to store it on one single file to make it easily manageable or into multiple files. Then once finished, click Finish, and then you can right-click the virtual machine and go to Virtual Machine Settings, and you can see that the settings can be managed very similar to the way they were in Oracle VirtualBox with the allocated RAM to the virtual machine, hard disk, IDE controller, USB drives, etc. So that's how to use VMware Player as an alternative option for setting up your virtual test lab.